guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how i achieved this cute copper color color and how i bleached the knots on my lace front so let's get started so for this color i'm using the color copper by l'oreal high color and you guys i thought why well, buy four boxes of this dye right and i thought it was gonna be enough y'all see how tiny that tube is i bought four boxes because i'm thinking one box is gonna be cool for you know each bundle i have three bundles and one lace frontal i thought that was gonna be enough y'all have to go back and buy nine more each bundle probably took about three um, boxes of dye because it was that little dye but <sighs> anyway i'm just following the directions on the box y'all i'm just getting the color copper i'm not mixing it with no other color i'm just mixing it with 40 volume developer because i want the color to be extremely bright and yeah so i'm mixing the dye right and i can't understand why this batch right here is coming out thinner than the other batch and i'm following the directions so i'm just like bruh you know like i was just over it but I mixed it until it got thick, like super thick. It took a minute, but it eventually got there. And now I'm gonna start applying the dye onto the bundles. Okay, so now I'm just gonna start applying the dye, the dye, what, girl? Okay, so now I'm gonna start applying the dye to the bundles. And this is the Recool hair. This is the Brazilian straight hair with the lengths of the bundles. I have three bundles of 22 inches and then the free part, lace frontal and 20 inches. So I'm just gonna put the dye onto this. And eventually I feel like I couldn't get the color good onto the hair because it was in the bundle. So eventually I'm gonna cut the rubber band off and then lay the bundle flat like I should have done in the first place. By the way, be sure to check the description box so you can see all the details about this hair and the links to it and etc. And also, I'm going to be reviewing this hair, so be on the lookout for that as well. Hey y'all, so look, this bundle is perfect, right? All saturated and dye. So I didn't have enough dye, I'm over here running out trying to make a stretch and this bundle looked tragic. Like, this bundle didn't even come out as bright as the other one, but it's cool, we just gonna put that one in the back, you feel me? But I was just so mad at myself, you guys, I've never run out of dye before, so yeah, I ran out of dye, but at least I know now, you gonna need a few boxes of using the color copper because them little tubes are too small. L'Oreal, girl, please make them a little bit bigger because that's some good dye and it's probably like six dollars a box for that little small box so yeah anyway you can just see i'm trying to really work the dye in whatever dye is left i'm over here struggling so Okay, you guys, my tripod is tripping, so I can't really get the angle that I want to get. But as you can see, I'm doing the frontal now. I started with the ends, and now I'm just parting and going row by row. And I have nowhere to set my phone up at, so yeah, that's basically all I'm doing right now. Okay, so now the frontal is covered in dye. It doesn't look the neatest, but it's covered nonetheless. And I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes, and as you see, I didn't... This I did the front part. Um, I didn't try to get the very tips kind of wanted black roots. And this is my first time dying the frontal, you guys. So I'm eager to see how this gonna look because we don't know. So yeah. Okay, so now that I'm done with the color, it's time to get the bleach ready for the knots. So I'm just taking two scoops of the BW2 bleach. Um, I got it from Sally's. And you see, I'm not measuring the developer. It's 40 volume developer. I'm not measuring it. I'm just pouring it in just so the bleach can be thick because that's the key to 
bleaching the notch. You don't want the bleach to be runny because it's gonna get all over the hair. It's like, that's not what you're trying to do. So you're trying to make sure you get on the lace only. So I'm just gonna mix it until it gets thick. Okay, so now I'm finished with the bleach. Now, as you can see, the consistency of it is pretty thick. So I'm going to start dabbing it on the um, lace. You don't really want to like, well, for me, I like dabbing it across because I'm just trying to get the knots. I'm not over here trying to get the roots of the hair because that's not what I'm trying to do. So anyway, I'm just like dabbing it on there and dragging the brush. I'm not really like putting too much pressure on it because when you do that, you're probably going to get the bleach on the hair. So now the whole thing is covered. And I'm just making sure I try to get all the knots, even in the front, like where I plucked everything at. So it's been about 20 minutes and I'm checking to see if I think it's done. I think so. What I did was put aluminum foil underneath. Let me show y'all. Okay, I put aluminum foil underneath so I could put the frontal face down. And if you part it, like, you see, it looks like it's about done. Cause it looks yellow and it's been 20 minutes. I hope I didn't over process it. But, okay. So, let me part it somewhere else. See, like right here. So, I'm gonna go rinse it out now. Okay, here's the final result. Um, afterwards, after I rinse off the bleach, I use Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo to wash the lace, just so it can tone it down a little bit, and this is how the knots look. As you see, I can just literally part it anywhere. And also, here's the result of the color. I was kind of disappointed, because one bundle came out super bright, y'all, so I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that's how all the hair is gonna look. But the frontal came out dark, and some of the bundles did too. Yeah, so unfortunately, the, all the hair is not one color like I wish it would have been, but it's still cute nonetheless. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.